Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Curse of the Dead Gods, where we're going to do another long run today. Let's see what weapons we have available. Titan Slayer is okay. I'm not huge on the pistol, but the mace is okay. Stonebreaker is pretty fun. Barbed Whip is pretty fun. Seeker's Mace we've kind of played with before. And then we have Chromatic Knives, Barb Shield, Primitive Spear. Huh. I'm going to try doing this one. And today, let's see here. Last time I flunked out on the uh, serpent long one and i do have some other event dungeons available and i am saving my skulls i think in my rings for trying to get some other stuff but i do want to see if i can get nine blood emblems here so let's do what you need me to mind mo i don't really know which one we're gonna do so let's do serpent Tem or serpent not serpent eagle temple long see if we can get to the dark avatar of the eagle again this could end very well or very poorly, but we do have ugh, kind of an awkward layout here. Get very optimistic looking all the way up there, but let's at least start with the gold right here and see if I can get maybe two upgrades and or one stat thing. Seems like a start. Wow, that's, we're just sitting here quietly waiting for the loading screen. I'm sitting here like, well, what are we going to talk about here on the loading screen? Um, I guess I want to begin with the point that I ended with last time is that Curse of the Dead Gods is a very good game for just kind of doing a run at a time, run of the day kind of thing. But if there's, there's plenty of other games out there that also I can do kind of a run of the day run at one time kind of thing. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, by all means, I am happy to... Uh, think about it. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, got that almost too early, but there we go. So, the nice thing about this mace is the charge attack on it. Um, you know, I think damage based on constitution plus damage versus elites or plus one dex. That's a really good weapon. Let's take it. I mean... I do like the Stonebreaker, but that's literally gold outlined very first drop, which we do have. Oh, we actually got a relic as well. Oh, no, we didn't. That's the same thing we had. But one of my perks here is uh, technically uh, found, uh, found gear is going to be of higher quality. So let's see if we can actually make the this a run of quality, probably by not getting hit by traps. There's uh, multiple traps here for multiple cats. Uh, you know, it's uh, going to be a good day if we're already rhyming this early on. But yeah, I am uh, always open to suggestions. I am not like... Mer oh god, almost got hit there. I'm not like stuck to one or two games. And uh, this will probably be out before or after I put the channel update out. So it's kind of the same thing there. I have some ideas of things I do want to play. But... And I have gotten some emails for things as well that are like suggestions, even still. Even when my channel was all inactive, I'd still get emails from people sometimes like, play my game, and a few of them are uh, fairly interesting, but I do want to give them a proper spotlight, proper time, instead of just throwing them in there. If someone's going to send me something to look at, I want to make sure that it actually gets a good look instead of have me putz around and say, oh god, uh, putz around like that. Okay, I just... There we go. There's gonna do two swings, and we're gonna. Yeah, I like I like those claws. I mean, they just feel good. You set things on fire, you're having a good day. Like we set all that crap on fire, having a good day. Get a relic here. Um, enemies killed by the environment. I think I'm gonna take the Constitution because Constitution does buff up the damage on this weapon. So we're gonna go for upgrades, and I think we're gonna try to upgrade the claws. Like I said, the hammer's good, but. I think I think the claws are where it's at, so anything we can get to kind of buff that up. I say that, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a Wow. Not my greatest outing. Being a little too aggressive here. Uh, minus four corruptions, fine. Man, that is so good how that combo multi hits, though. Alright, let's see if we can get environmental kill. Yes. Even without the uh, 
Wow, that got me. Okay. Okay, I can't parry when I'm doing my charge attack. Noted. Alright, so I'm taking a lot of dumb damage, which is exactly what did in my last run. Chromatic knives definitely want the heal. Although that's a good that's we're getting some actual high quality garbage here. Oh shit. So that's to say those are the blades. Which, by the way, if uh, you've heard me talk about Dawn of the Mashika on here at all and you're looking for, I will get a better angle than those blades. But that's the exact kind of sword that I'm talking about, where you have your obsidian jammed into um Oh god, I forgot that I forgot what the sword's called. I'd have to have the word in front of me. But that's very much the kind of, Okay, we need to go to the unknown here to get these upgrades. But yeah, you may say it's like, well, it's not steel or anything. It's intimidating as shit when you have obsidian just plunked into stuff here. I'm gonna take the heal. It's just in corruption. For kind of making up for my early mistakes. And we're gonna see if we can double upgrade here. But I'm always on the lookout for some other stuff to play, especially as I'm kind of winding down the, um... And yeah, here's the kind of sword that I'm talking about here. Just, it can do a lot of damage, but I'm kind of winding down my Dyson Sphere program stuff. There's still plenty left to do. Oh, wow. Started with such good timing. Okay, you tried to do it. Okay, should get him. There we go. A little bit of a heal. But yeah, like I said, as long as I'm having fun with this game, I'll still play it. It just gets a little frustrating sometimes. Because it feels like I'm making some progress, but only some progress. There we go. One thing I do need to get better at, and I've seen some other players, is getting used to using the offhand combo there. Because you notice I don't have a fire whip, and yet... Oh, it does have 20% chance to like fire, inflict fire damage, so... But still, that can be a pretty useful thing you're just going to... I can just get the timing down. There we go. Yeah, every little thing I can add to my toolbox arsenal here is nice. So what's my other thing here? Ooh, removes one per corruption per kill. That's that's pretty amazing. Um, that's also really nice though that the upgrade there will get charged with. But yeah, this is incandescent claws is day to shine. So we want to be getting some constitution if we can, and we want to be killing with the claws. So we can manage this, but we are going to get one curse, which is fine. I'm going to go for the second upgrade. I may actually do a blood sacrifice for the um, stats, depending on what they are. Runic eggs activate automatically if you stand near them. Well, that can use that to my advantage. Alright. What do we have next? We have this kind of room. Another kill. Okay, that's not great. Wow, you actually had... Those guys kind of have gross range some days. Okay, don't want to get hit by you. Would prefer not to get hit by you. Wow. Thought I could BS that one. getting way too aggressive here. We just need to rewind for a second. There we go. There we go. So a little bit of corruption down, a little bit of greed kill. Could have done a little better with that, but let's see if we can get a second upgrade on these claws. Ugh. <sighs> Just a little short on the gold. Screw it. Let's offer blood.
All right, so att attributes. This is part of the joy of not having um, our abilities to um, just wind things down. I'm not making a lot of sense right now, but let's... Can we actually kill you, please? Thank you. Light some fires here. Set you on fire for fun. Okay, so those guys just have less health. Um, 67 gold is fine. And this looks like a gold trap room. Just stand in the corner. No need to panic. We don't have any eggs yet. Okay, can we do two for one here? There we go. Did I not get the... I did not get the relic that heals for environmental damage. Okay, well... Ooh! Thought I was... Okay. Okay, thought I was out of the way there. So playing a little sloppy, but that's fine. Um, didn't get any constitution here, but plus damage is going to be useful for clearing out some stuff. And we have two curses now. So, what's my rule with this boss? Take my time. Don't rush. All damage is avoidable. Creeping gloom is probably what I'm going to want to get rid of. Because I do kind of want to play in the light today. All right, so don't get too aggressive. But be appropriately aggressive. Okay. Okay, here comes the Sparkies. Just want to roll past them. Okay, she's going to do her big lightning shot next. Okay. Let him come and swing. Okay, got to watch my stamina here. Okay. I'm not trying to speed run this or anything. She should be doing lightning next. No. Well, technically it's lightning all the way down. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh. Okay, take my time. Mm. Got caught with no stamina there. I'm in danger! There we go. We want the back attack there. That's that's what the, the kind of thing I need to set up is just time the blink to the back. All right. So runic eggs activate automatically. I can use that. You deal plus ten percent damage in the light. So I could have done that a little better, but it's fine because now we're getting rid of it. All right. Curse lifted. Like I said, I'm saving these things for stuff. Uh, we're gonna take the heal. And uh, we're going to take the Constitution. Really glad there's a system that lets you offer a gear that you don't want. Alright, unfortunately it does mean I do need to go to a healing room. Because I'd love to hit both of those stat rooms, but gold's going to be at a bit of a premium. So it looks like we're going Attributes, Relic Room, Upgrade. And I'm just going to see how far I can make it this run. Hopefully... I get a good push through, but you never you never count on anything, especially since it's been a, a few days since I played this. And that's one of the other things that you see people who are really good at this. They play it, they play all the time. Not like all the time, all the time, but they put in a little bit more work. And then maybe for some of them, they'll post like their best run. Okay, let's not. 
Okay, let's see if we can get you. Ooh. Can we get you to activate? That'd be really nice. Oh. For once I parried appropriately. Uh, plus six perception is fine. How did you not get hit? Jerk. Didn't get the charge attack off, which is a little irritating. Oof. Thought I had more stamina when I did that move. I cannot get that timing down. Okay. Hey, I just want to say you're a jerk. Oh wait, there's more! Because it's Curse of the Dead Gods. Wow. Let's clear some of this garbage just a little bit. Oof. Perfect dodge into perfect garbage. Okay, thought that egg would do something for me. Okay, I need to get better with parrying. See, so yeah, that could have gone better. But hey, at least I healed so I didn't just immediately die. Alright. Don't think we want any of these. I think I'm pretty happy with the weapons that I have. I mean, that's literally a better barbed whip. Ugh. Like, I don't have a ton of gold. I'm already kind of in trouble. Let's think about this for a second. So we have this here. And then, I know our map buttons tab. I don't know what the keyboard analog is. And that means I'm going to have a little bit of time to get uh, money for a stat and that here. I think I'm going to try to go big and get the weapon that's going to get me some passive healing. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have many sources of constitution yet, but... Oh. Got to see if I can run this a little bit better. All right. Okay, reset the stamina and... oh shit. Okay, well at least I'm getting myself killed here. Hello, baby. Please have healing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see if we can get the egg to... I guess one of the issues is that what I was doing last was not actually an egg. Oh shit. Not good. Man, I even saw that out of the corner of my eye. Alright, well. I'm gonna have to be on my A game for sure. Because um, there's not going to be other sources of healing. So this is all a big old skip. Alright. Yeah, it's hard to say let's do a long dungeon when I can barely even get through. Okay. It's a little bit of healing. Alright. 
Just gotta take it one fight at a time. Uh, yeah, definitely plus three constitution. Okay, that was that was adequate. Not great, just adequate. Okay. Okay, we got a little eyeball over here. That's good. Alright, like, I really like this weapon loadout. I've just got to be able to survive long enough to m make it pay off. Which is one of those l lamentations of not being better at the game. This is trap gold. Fortunately, it's just mine trap gold. Managed to take damage anyway. Now that's 70 damage that I wish I could have back. Alright, probably... Right. Hello, child. Okay, out of stamina! No, no, no! Alright. Huh. Thought I got the parry. Okay, our health is getting worse and worse. Alright. It's probably time to clench your butt cheeks a little bit. And look, more enemies. Okay, good start, except for Buffy McBufferson. Okay, that's a start. Damn. Need those whip kills. Need to not get hit by the eagle statue, though. Oh man, those used to freak me out way more, though. So... Uh, plus eight healing and you pass through a door and three decks. Good enough for me. Plus this thing. Uh, no constitution again. You know, I hate I hate passing up on uh, this. But I'm just going to offer the gold here. Because we kind of need to save for upgrades. Alright, so relic little bit of healing, but is it going to be enough? That may be terrible. It may not affect me either, because I have to actually live to see other curses first. Good start. Good. That's the combo I'm talking about. Alright. Because you'll get your uh, damage and healing and all those effects even if you do the widespread thing here. So let's see if we can... Got a lot of opportunities to do some damage here. Damn, so close. Just get better to get the kill. Um, thank you, plus 16% health. Oh shit. It's like I heard it and I didn't see it and yet I was looking at the screen. That's a, that's a level of stress and anxiety you get in games sometimes. There we go. 
So at least I'm getting a little healing and a little bit of corruption restoration. Okay, this is not really worth sticking around for. <sighs> not a lot I could do there with the uh, auto-activate curse. Um, I don't think I can afford a relic, although that would be pretty nice. Uh, you know what, though? Let's uh, let's use a favor. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use the uh, upgrade. I'm going to be offering blood, so... Let's take the constitution boost and the greed kill limit. Those are both useful, because that'll help me get some gold. Gold offerings increase my perception. Alright. Gotta survive here, though. Can't count my chickens at all. Wow. Thought I was doing really good stuff there. Um... Damn. Annoying ass baby. So, turns out it's really nice if I have a whip that's gonna constantly weaken things to get bonus damage. Okay, reset. Okay, I got caught with no stamina, like, twice there. Alright, and got my dog going in the background again, so that's fun. Not sure what that's all about. Alright. So both of these are good. We're definitely offering blood for one of them. Let me think about it while I check and see what my dog said. Hooray, he's barking at nothing, so I have not come any closer to what I want to use. 15% damage while in light is good. Um, I probably am going to need the elite damage a little more, though. Alright. So we're going to get a third curse, and we won't know what it is. And we're taking on a champion. Alright. So this is another patience boss. All right, there's a few things we can eliminate right away because we have all the stamina in the world. We don't know if every room is trapped or not. So here's Robo Buddy. Who just really wants to be a real boy. Ooh, got a perfect dodge there somehow. Manage stamina. And that's why we manage our stamina. Okay, do your robo rocket boost. Okay, so far, kind of decent pace. How'd you get me? Gotta really watch my stamina here. Okay, 
what you got for me next, dude. Okay, time to be aggressive here in just a second. Good, got him. Huh, pretty clean fight, not perfect, but as about as close as I can get. Considering how close I was to wiping on this floor, I'm very happy about how this run's going. So we're going to get rid of the unknown curse. I guess technically I could have gotten rid of uh, the other curse since we won't know. Gold permeates going to lose as much gold as you take damage. Health loss is reduced by 25. Okay, um, I'll take the plus 7 dexterity. That doesn't really help my game plan though. And that doesn't help my game plan at all. Alright, well, we're healing, and I guess we're going to go this way for the uh, upgrade and the uh, damage. I'm not really, as nice as my weapons are doing, I'm not super happy with my damage output right though. Though I've done, I've done better. It's like I haven't gotten a lot of upgrades here, but we're going to go for the full heal. And we're going to get a third curse. So yeah, I kind of regret not getting the you can't see other curses because... Oh well. Now we have two paths that we can take, but let's just start one room at a time. We just got to go here, light a torch, whip an eyeball. Alright, and uh, minus 12 corruption, or uh, I'll take the dex. Okay, angry baby. Wow, Angry Baby got me point blank. Twice. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Alright. Alright, I did this fight very poorly. Good. Let me see if we can get Elite Baby. I was really hoping for the parry there. Alright. There we go. Just needed one. Shit. I guess that worked out. By all means, heal. As I furiously mash some buttons here. So, elite archer, elite other dude. Ah, too early. Got behind him, though. There we go. He's got a little bit of health back, three arrows, not great. Fortunately, these guys' patterns are really easy. I, I say that, it's like, it's still like a hard game, but the archers are a little more forgiving than some of these other guys. Alright, um, I think this is a solid skip. We're not using our two-hander anymore. So, I could go this way. Don't know what the challenge room is. We could just go gold mystery. The mystery might be a heal. I think that's better. And if it's a challenge room, depending on our situation, we might skip that. But I am taking damage in gold, so that's um, a little bit unfortunate. Wow, I got really lucky there. Good start. Just take, just take the heal as I can get it. So we got Angry Elite Baby. Damn. Mm. Okay. Kind of had to pick my poison there, but... Turns out everything is poisoned, so these are automatically activated, but they're not the eggs. That's fine. Let's get out the baby first. 
There we go. Throw out the baby with the bathwater. That's someone who really doesn't like babies, I guess. Ah, oh, man. Each greed kill removes one corruption or 18 health. Ugh. Um, I think I take the 18 health. That's a really nice artifact, though. Um, 12% health. So we got a full heal. So in other words, I probably should have done the other thing first. I should have left that on the ground. Okay. Alright, so if I had played this better, I would have waited to get that second heal until the room was done, but... Can't be too mad. Okay, let's save some stamina here for Anger Child. You really just wanted a Happy Meal. Shit. There we go. Okay, I should have- I should have parried that. Um, <sighs> all right, this progress, we're at full health, so now we don't need to heal, if it's a healing room, and we don't know what this is. I didn't realize that when rooms get changed to question marks via a curse, that they end up, um, just disappearing, like they change. Wow, I thought I got the whip off in time. Okay. This is a lot of I thought I got the whip off in time. I just still need to pay attention a little bit to the credits just to see who's credited with uh, baby noises. Alright, we're going to get corrupted no matter what, so um, I'm not that concerned about doing claw kills. Okay, this is a this is a terrible room. Just watch that stamina. Did I miss any? Just a little bit. Alright, close enough. Okay, let's back it up. Whoa! Jerk! You're all jerks! Every last one of you. Kind of failed with the parry there too, so that's that's a little annoying. Um, don't already have this. Um, plus the fire attacks and dex. I'm pretty sure I don't need the perception anymore. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. And offering 12 gold. I think I... You know, I think I'm going to take the relic. Alright. Upgrade! <sighs> Please don't be the one where it causes me to... Okay. Bloodlust. Being enemy now releases blood instead of gold. Blood quantities increase the kill counter and perception. All right, now the one thing that irritates me a little bit is like, okay, I have some gold. I was planning on using corruption to uh, do the other thing anyway. 
So there we go, just a little bit at a time. Got one parry. Killed my bloodlust, though. Don't tell me how exactly. Okay, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, can't parry that. I gotta remember that I can't parry that attack. Okay, so. Anger Baby. Over here. Managed to animation cancel the whip. Alright, so we're doing a lot more damage with the fire thing now. Okay, that's scary as shit. Okay, you guys are not my best friends right now. Okay, I thought I'd get both of you. Turns out I got none of you instead. Panic parrying, it's a thing. Uh, I'm out of gold. So that's fun. That's how much damage I took. So. I'm using my whip a lot, but I do think this is the best thing to offer blood for. All right, so actual corruption again. Now I've just got to not screw this up. This unknown could be a heal. At this point, I'd rather have the chance of a heal with the boss coming up because I have no shot if the if I have no help or no health. Shadow Flame, um, Brazier's Burn Dark. This is not a healing room. Okay, so I might not make it to the boss, or I could do really well here, but. Okay. Not with starts like that. Okay. Okay, bloodless three. That's... Well, you know what? If I lose, I'm at least going to go down with some awesome damage combos. Or not. <laughs> or I'll go down by their damage combos. Okay, well, 90% progress. That was good, considering I almost died. Um, obviously, there's a lot of avoidable damage that I could have avoided. But still, I'll take it. So that weapon, that weapon combo was fun. Just too bad I couldn't keep my health up because I kept taking damage. Anyway, still thinking about what I want to upgrade here next. I've got, obviously, enough skulls for some of these here. Like, restoring 50% health after bosses could be nice. Um, parries power of the wind, stunning all enemies in a larger radius, which would be nice. Skillful adaptation. After feeding an enemy in your main hand and second hand, you switch between them. That would have probably been really good for that one there. Um, Successful fairies will restore full stamina. Maybe I start to go for that. I'm getting a little better at it. Um, I do want to save up for the Moonblade. So it's going to be a little while before I upgrade here again. And I'm not going to do any other divine favors for now. So that's it. This is Asher. We're just sitting on our income. And next time we're obviously going to be doing the Jaguar Temple long. And maybe I'll beat it. Maybe I won't. But you know what? We're going to have fun trying. And apparently hitting the RB button with uh, my controller here. So dogs barking at nothing. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. This is Curse of the Dead Gods with Asher. I'm not as good as other people. But I'm as good as I can be. And we'll work on improving again next time. Thanks for watching.